In this video, we're going to discuss templates, template stacks, and device groups. How they work in the same in Panorama as anything else and how they're different. In Panorama, under the Templates tab, you will find the templates that exist in Panorama. Normally, for hardware firewalls, this is where you would manage your templates. How you know which template you're making a change to, up here at the top of the screen, under the Templates option with Network and Device, these are all of the different things that are included in a template. Over here down the left-hand side, these are all the different things that are governed by a template. Now, the way that you know which template you're making a change to is right here, where it says Remote Network Template. I can click on this pull-down menu, and I could switch to any of the templates that are available. Normally, with hardware firewalls, under Panorama and under Templates, I would add templates, create template stacks, and also apply templates. I would still add them here. If I wanted to create a template that was going to be utilized in a template stack within Prisma Access, I would still add it here. But for Prisma Access, the way the templates are managed is that I go to the Cloud Services plugin. In the Cloud Services plugin, under the Service Network configuration, I manage the templates associated with that here. I could add templates into my stack, like the universal template that I've created. And this is the template stack that would apply to my service network configurations. Under the remote network tab, this is where I would manage the templates applied to the template stack, remote network template stack. I would manage them here. And likewise, under the mobile users tab, under settings, this is where I would manage the templates for my mobile users. So here I create and manage the template stack and I could add in other templates. Under panorama and templates, this is where I could create new templates to be added into that template stack. What I can't do from here is manage the remote networks template stack. I don't have the ability to manage this here. Everything is grayed out. This is appropriately managed under cloud services and configuration like we just looked at. An important thing to remember about this is that Prisma Access will create the service connection template stack, the remote network template stack, and the mobile users template stack. They will each contain a template called service connection template, remote network template, and mobile user template respectively. You could make additional templates to include into this template stack but this is not where you manage it. This is not where you say what devices are associated with this. That happens automatically, what devices are associated based upon the Prisma Access architecture, whether or not it happens to be a remote network that you're onboarding, a service connection that you're onboarding, or mobile user configuration with portals or gateways. The next thing that we're going to discuss is device groups. When you're configuring Prisma Access, it will automatically make the mobile users device group, the remote network device group, and the service connection device group. These device groups 
could be made subordinate to any device group that you wanted to. In this case, I have made them subordinate to the shared device group. Remember, there is an inheritance architecture as part of Panorama, and that these different device groups would inherit objects and rules that existed at the shared level. If I click on the Objects tab under Device Groups, here it's important to know which device group I'm in, because when I make objects, this is where they're going to live. When I'm on the Policies tab under Device Groups, when I'm making my policies based upon what device group I have chosen, this will then relate to where these things are going to exist. So these rules that I'm looking at here are part of the remote network device group. If I changed to the mobile users device group, right now there are no security rules. No traffic can flow through the gateway to be able to reach other places either within Prisma Access or to go out to the internet because right now for my mobile users device group, I don't have any security policies in place. So to cover this again, under the Panorama tab and device groups, the mobile users device group, remote network device group, and service connection device groups are automatically created by Prisma Access during your initial configuration. And when I say initial configuration, I'm talking about the configuration tab down here, going into settings for the mobile users, remote networks, or service connection is what causes these device groups to automatically be created. In closing, the configuration of both templates and device groups in Panorama to facilitate the configuration in Prisma Access is very similar. The main difference is, is that how you apply these different templates and device groups and as far as what devices they're associated with, that is not done in the traditional Panorama templates and Panorama device groups configuration tabs. Rather, it is done via the Cloud Services plugin.